And so here is Dallas. Here's who Mark Dagnall is going to put out there to start the second half. We'll see Dort and Baisley playing it forward. Hugis Alexander out there with Josh Giddy. And it's Favors in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And here now the Thunder. Gilgis Alexander passes to Favors. Here's Dort. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's on JaVale McGee. Who needs the NBA draft? I mean, Dort worked his way onto the team, into the rotation, and then turns into a key contributor. All free throws good from Dort. It's fascinating to watch Dort evolve his game. He's raised his free throw percentage to 84% last year. And for the first time in his career, he shot over 40% from the field. McGee's gone a nice five of six shooting from the field. Over in the corner, Dort. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. Ten points for him. And the three-point shot wasn't always there for Dort. But he's put in a ton of work on it, and it shows. Pass to Wood. Fires the three. Another three for Dallas. So what would you say is next for Dort in his development? You know, Kevin, I'd like to see him get to the line more often. He has room to grow as a playmaker. Uh, of course, locking down the consistency from range. But he has the work ethic to make all of that happen. And taking a look here at some numbers for Christian Wood. He's coming off an excellent season. Averaged 18 points per, 10 rebounds, and 2 assists. It's hard to wrap your head around numbers like these, but that is just what he delivers night in and night out. You know, it's so easy for us to take him for granted, to get spoiled with what he does. I think we've got to be more appreciative of the kind of impact this man has in every game he plays. During the summer of 2021, the Mavericks had some major changes. Longtime head coach Rick Carlisle left after 13 years in Dallas, and they also got a new GM. Here's McGee, and he makes that one. McGee's got four points now in the quarter. Everything going to plan here to start the third. 80% shooting thus far. Favors at the elbow, and Derek Favors with the slam. Slamming it home. Uh, part of why Favors shoots it so well from the field, sometimes he just spikes it instead of shooting. Coaching staff changes the side court. The front office moves affect players that much? I think they do, Kevin. It's hard for them not to. Normally, we see a flurry of trades or free agent signings. Uh, we saw it with the Mavericks trading away Kristaps Porzingis, changing the composition of their squad, going in a different direction. So. That'll take some adjusting, too. Now, here's Doncic. After Lou Dort's miss, it's the three-point bomb. Three-pointers are killing them at this point, and they haven't been able to respond at the other end. You know, the only way that's going to turn around defensively is by stopping the outside shot, not getting into a shootout. They're not going to out-shoot out this team. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. And I just love his competitiveness. He, he's showing there. T might be down, but a drive like that could spark them. They push it up four on three. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What do you got for us, D.A.? Thanks a lot, guys. Josh Giddy has been attracting admirers, including LeBron James. The King said... He's really, really good. He has a great pace about the game. Great vision. Josh is one of those kids who can definitely see the game a lot quicker than most guys out on the floor. And he's showing it. Just been playing beautiful basketball. Kevin, that's high praise. It is both amazing passes. David, thank you. Here's Hardaway. Dallas, no good that time either. Boy, he's got to be kicking himself for failing to make that shot. That's money. The pass to Dort. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Six to shoot. Goes up on the wing. They get it back. And then Favors with the dunk. Such determination on the glass. Not boxing out Favors is a huge mistake that you cannot afford to make. And there it is for him. 
Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. You know, numbers don't always tell the story, guys, but his assist totals do paint the picture here. I mean, he's got everybody involved. Gilgis Alexander, good. Largely because of that length, Gilgis Alexander feeling confident attacking inside. Out to Doncic. Good, and the assist goes to Hardaway. And now it's up to 25 points for Luka Doncic. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. And Doncic gets it to go. Three triples in the first half, three in the second. Boy, do they add up. Gilgis Alexander against Doncic. Dort, and they come right back with their own three-pointer. Dort's got 12 points in just the second half. Here's Hardaway, and it falls over the rim and in. We are seeing Hardaway Jr. at his very best. Sometimes he flat out can simply take over games with his scoring ability. Now here's Giddy. Doesn't go that time. Excellent D that time there from McGee. Here's Doncic. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. He's certainly been their go-to guy when it matters most. He's trying to close this one out. Up top, Giddy, guarded by Hardaway. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Giddy. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. McGee with the block. Wants to get it to Doncic and does. Yep, that one goes in there. And look at how the hustle game has been going for Dallas. A high-effort brand of defense has been paying off for them in this one. They've managed to either block or alter a ton of their opponent's shots. The shooting's been great, but also, how about the energy level? That's what's impressed me the most. They've been getting it up and down in transition, and that takes effort. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Here's McGee. On the rebound goes to the Thunder. Now here's Giddy. Shoots the three. Here's Favors. It's hauled in by Wood. Wood's got eight rebounds in this game. Dallas has gone four or six from three-point land since the start of the second half. Buries the 20-footer. Wood's got 18 points in the game. He's a big reason why they have the lead right now. He's made all of his field goal attempts thus far and remains hot from the floor. And Torch gets it to go. This guy's really flowing with his stroke right now. He hit one earlier, and now he has three in this half. Anjic passes to McGee. Good, and the assist goes to Doncic. He's got 18. First three of the half, second of the game. Can he heat up? And here is Giddy. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Mavericks. And here's Wood outside. Another three for Dallas. He's really picked up where he left off in the first. Oklahoma City shooting around 44% in this third quarter. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Rebound by JaVale McGee. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Here's Wood. Nine for nine, looking deadly accurate. Like, guys, he cannot miss. Well, anytime you've got a player that can give you extra possessions, that's a great asset, and Wood is a fantastic offensive rebounder. Hard away against Dort. Favors surveying the floor. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Baisley. It's rebounded by Dallas. Bullock's got six rebounds in the game. 
Wood, high post. Another possession, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Pass to Favors. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Pass to Dort. Back to Giddy. Favors sets the pick for Giddy. Shot to stop the run. Nice D from Doncic. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. Here's Dort. The Mavericks pull it in. McGee's got his 20th rebound here tonight. Saw that coming. And there's the pass to Wood. From outside, off the mark. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can count on him to continue missing. And they've won the rebound battle so far, and it's translated to the scoreboard. Well, the effort level they've had has been outstanding. Hard to keep a team down when they play with that much energy. Trills the three-pointer. Hardaway has got 23 points. And that's another three. And if really, if the defense is hoping that they don't heat up from out there like they did in the first half, they may be in for a real bad surprise. The Thunder with another miss. And he has been ice cold from beyond the arc here since halftime, and he continues yet to fire away. He has got to tone it down if he wants to help his team. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too, as a matter of fact. I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all his work from behind the arc. Here's Baisley to the inside. Hardaway with it. Dort covering. On the wing, Doncic. Shoots over Gilgis Alexander. And it's Doncic. That time on the assist by McGee. Impeccable mechanics this quarter. He's been perfect from the field. It's Dort on the wing. And no good. The try spell continuing for him. Hardaway with the bounce pass. For three, Bullock. Another three for Dallas. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there might be more in store. There's 37 seconds left to play here in the third. Favors finds Gilgis Alexander. Dort. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Dallas shooting has been out of this world. 74% from the field. Passes it to Bullock. A three ball. The Mavericks keeping it alive. The new 14. And he comes up with the deuce. Boy, for a seven-footer, he's got really good bounce, does JaVale McGee, and doing a nice job working on the glass there. Inside, here's Dort. Lays it up and banks it in. Dort's got 17 now, just in the second half. If you allow him to get that close, you deserve to get scored on. From deep, Wood. That shot, no good. It's been all about Luka Doncic for the Mavericks. He's raised his three-point total to six now. A lot of points from beyond the arc. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. Well, clearly, he's the guy that stirs the drink for him, and that's how he does it, with his dynamite passing skills. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Maxi Kleba is out there with Powell. Then there's Hardy, and it's Neil Aquina in at the shooting guard. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. And so it's Dallas with it after Oklahoma City gets the three. Took him no time at all on that one. Powell showing you tit for tat that he's got range too. The Thunder shooting a putrid 25% from the field. Poor shot selection all around. And a wide open look here for Wiggins. No good on the three. 
And so here is Dallas. Pass to Hardy over Muscala. And that'll be Oklahoma City's ball as it goes out of bounds. You know, that's just sloppy basketball giving away a possession. No real reason for that turnover. Oklahoma City's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. And the NBA last season announced the creation of six new trophies for the division winners and named them after six pioneering players. Kevin, anytime you can connect the past, the legacy of the league to the present in meaningful ways, uh, I think that's a winning situation. I mean, greats like Wayne Embry, Sam Jones, Willis Reed, who paved the way for generations of black players. I mean, I think it's a great move to recognize them and continue to realize the importance they played in helping to build the foundation on which the league stands now. Here's Hardy. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Hardy's got his first two points. Really good pass from Finney Smith. He understands that you can't squeeze that orange if you got somebody ready to catch and shoot. A three-pointer, Wiggins. Mavericks with the rebound. Here's Hardy. That three off the mark. Wiggins outside to halt the run. Powell pulls it in. Powell's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Finney Smith, and he's good on the three ball. Finney Smith's got 24. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Putting up a goose egg bagel this period. At this point, you have to run the offense through somebody else. I mean, that's your only choice. Powell, oh, that's good. Powell's got five points now in the quarter. And Powell doing a nice job using his length on these hard shots. I mean, excellent and powering through the contact. That's to Robinson Earl. Here's Muscala. Wiggins from outside sinks the three-pointer. Wiggins has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And from beyond the arc, he puts a stop to that 12-0 run by Dallas. Kleba, the pass to Hardy. Here's Nilekina. Another three for Dallas. Man, good to see Nilekina square up from deep. Has the size and touch needed to knock home these threes. And the pass to Robinson Earl to the right side. Man, trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Here's Powell. Man with the rebound. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. The Mavericks have gone six of nine on their field goal attempt since the start of the fourth quarter. Here's Kleba. No good with the triple. The Thunder shooting around 24%. Not a good showing here. Passes it to Mann. The Trey. The Thunder with another miss. Now the Mavericks with it. They're on a 15-3 run right now. Here's Kleba. Here's Powell. He scores his fifth field goal. He's taken nine shots to get those five. Boy, intensity always a good thing, and Powell brings it solid at getting after offensive rebounds for his team. Pass to man. Let's it go from deep. And it's Wiggins missing. And, and maybe, you know, he thinks he can shoot himself out of the cold spell, but I don't think that's the case. Maybe somebody want to tell him that he's up off the threes. Yes, that goes in. And, you know, Nita Kina is effective from the mid-range, good at reading the defense and then capitalizing off the space he gets. A three-pointer, Wiggins. Powell pulls it in. Powell's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Let's it go from 11. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. He's come out here in the second half and done a nice job moving, getting good looks, and finding his range. On the wing, Wiggins. Again, Wiggins missing. Wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. Nila Kina gets the bucket. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. 
Here's Robinson Earl. So nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Here's Muscala. Another miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. And so Powell will bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Drops in the tray. Finney Smith's got 27 points. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. Well, you know, that's exactly their plan here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc and then bury some threes. Now, here's Kleba. He's feeling it. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Finney Smith's got 10 points in just the second half. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. In the corner, it's Wiggins. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. They are in complete control. This is the ultimate definition of the zone. Everything they've done has worked. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. And, you know, the lead just keeps growing. I mean, this game is not going to get out of their grip. They're going to keep pulling away. Now here's Paul, and it's Dallas with another. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. The Thunder shooting a rough 22% so far in this one. Wiggins outside. Fires from deep. Again, Wiggins missing. Well, another 10 cut moment here because he continues to miss shot after shot from three point range. This is not a fourth quarter he's going to want to remember. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm. And you can see how they're finishing their plays. Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, every single attempt finding the bottom of the bucket. Here's Robinson Earl. Man can't hit. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. Paladon passes to Robinson Earl. Here's Mann. That one's off. Still out of sync. Greg, their unselfish play has really been impressive. They're trusting one another out there, wanting to get each other involved. This is great basketball. He's absolutely killing it from outside. Pass to Robinson Earl. Here's Mann. This one for three. Good on the triple. No three-pointers for him in that first half, but the second half, different story. Here's Nilakina. Fires high post. Wiggins with the rebound. The pass to Mann. The shot, no good. So the Mavericks will take it the other way. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. Proving he belongs in this league. Nilakina getting better at taking contact and finishing. Pass to Robinson Earl. Here's Mann. Guarded by Powell. Mann can't hit. They're making this a runaway. And the only question for me right now is just how big the lead will eventually become. Sinks the triple. Finney Smith doing what we've come to know he can do. Knock down that jumper with a smooth stroke. Robinson Earl, the pass to Muscala. Now it on. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Dallas shooting just phenomenal here tonight. 73% from the field. Wasted no time on that one. Nila Kina's got 18 points just in the second half. Just adding to his arsenal, Nila Kina has what it takes to have a huge impact on the offensive end. Man can hit. Let's the three fly. Another three for Dallas. I really like the rhythm Nila Kina plays with. Good at sensing when to shoot off the pass. And even with the ratings going strong, the younger generations often cord cut. How does the NBA engage that audience? Kevin, I think making game action trend on social media and when big moments happen for a, maybe a small fee, allow people to be a part of it, it's like highlights, but live. Now, here's Hardy. A three-pointer off the mark.
Pass to Robinson Earl. One thirty-three left here in the fourth quarter. Mann passes to Muscala. Shoots over Powell. Can they get it? And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Thunder, Mike Muscala taking two shots. That's good for Muscala. JaVale McGee's checked in for Dallas. Anjic comes in for Hardy. And then for Oklahoma City, Baisley's checked in for Jeremiah Robinson Earl. Kokoshevsky's come in for Wiggins. And it's Dort in for Maladon. Winning in strong fashion. A relentless effort notches a W for Dallas. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that. And, man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And it'll mark their fourth win on the year. Actually, their fifth win on the year. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two more games ahead, and they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. Yeah, I don't think it'll play out quite that simply, though. The team coming out on the losing end of game one is just that much more motivated to get even in game two and three. So I think the edge goes to the losing team. And, you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Luka Doncic. Boy, I thought he did a little bit of everything out there tonight. Notching the triple-double in style. He was a difference maker. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. McGee with it. He kicks to Doncic. Beyond the arc. Another three for Dallas. And you can sense that these fans... These players, they are ready to celebrate. And I think they can start that celebration right now. I mean, what a terrific team victory. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Boy, he has put in some major work. He's earning his pay, for sure. So we see the Mavericks taking the win here. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Luca, coming out of halftime, you took it to another level. Did you think it was your time to take over? I mean, sometimes you fail, you know, sometimes you don't, you know. I just, uh, I think I felt it in the third quarter. I was having fun out there, you know, and my teammates helped me a lot. They certainly did, but you made the shots, man, that led to the win, and congratulations. Kevin, back to you. David, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. And now our New Balance player of the game, Luka Doncic. Be cautious when you come with that's what she told me. She said, make sure they can ride for you. Sure that you make it home safe tonight. Be honest, I don't know what's really waiting on me. Got a bunch of guys outside hating on me. She looking like, what did I get myself into? She looking like she gon' call her the nigga. Know she from the birds and all. She don't wanna see me take it to another level. She be secondhand embarrassed like a scarlet letter. I don't wanna let her down. I don't wanna let her down. I promise we would have a good time tonight as soon as we walk in. My eyes are over there. Watch them stop and stare. Don't go no further tonight, no, no. They know I got them with me. With me, yeah. You just can't see them. They'll come rush if I need them. They'll come rush. Baby, dance with me. Just dance with me. Cool up. She just a fan with me. Love with me.
Yeah.